How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new series where we're going to be solving hacker rank problems. Now, if you guys don't know what hacker rank is, it's basically just a website that has a lot of JavaScript problems. But yeah, I, I just wanted to go through and you know start solving these problems so that you guys can like see someone think through a problem and then like solve it, right? So that's kind of the gist of the series. One thing to note, these videos are probably gonna be very short at first, mainly because the first set of problems are not very challenging. So let's dive right into the first problem. I created a new account so that you can follow along exactly with me and I'll only solve these problems one at a time with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into the first problem. So let's just solve me first. So when you look through this prompt, it is an editor. They have an editor right here. They probably use Ace Editor or some sort, but I'm going to just change this to JavaScript. Now, once you set this, you shouldn't have to change this again multiple times. But yeah, this is kind of the first problem. Let me read the first problem first. Problem, complete the function solve me first to compute the sum of two integers. Um, and there's kind of just some function prototypes telling you that this particular function returns an int. It calls this function called solve me first. It expects two integer parameters called x and y. x is where the first input and the y is the second integer. Basically, what you have to do is return the sum of the above two integers, essentially. So here's a sample input and here's a sample output. Um, and a quick explanation, you may see this and you may think that it's like overly explained, but it's it just seems like that because this is uh, the first problem. But when the problems get more um, interesting and more complex, then all of these explanations will be very helpful. So that is essentially the nutshell of the problem. Now let's go to this part right here. Now this looks like a lot of code, but most of this you actually don't need to worry about. Just to briefly go over it, it's this whole part right here is to bring in data essentially from the system. But right here, as long as you call uh, solve the problem right here, solve me first, then that's all that you really actually have to do because solve me first uh, will get called right here and then that gets logged to the console and this log is what is getting uh, checked with their tester essentially. And that, that's pretty much it. So the main function always gets run when you run this code or submit the code. But yeah, so I'm just quickly explaining it. I'm not going to do this for every video. I'm just showing you kind of the uh, structure of how they have created these problems. So the main thing is right here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They even put the hint below right here. So how, do, how will we solve this problem? I know it's an exhaustive explanation, but tell me first. We, all we, our goal is to sum two integers x plus y. Um, so all we should do is return a plus b and that should be enough to solve this problem. So what I usually like to do is after I solve the problem, I like to run the code. And when you run the code, it processes the data and then it solves it for one particular case. So in this case, it says, congratulations, you have passed a sample test case, which is just one test case, two plus three equals five. And here's the uh, standard output and the expected output. So that's probably pretty much what you're trying to do. But a lot of times you're gonna run these code, like this is a simple example. So, you know, it's obviously very easy to solve, but some problems, they may have edge cases. And that's where when you submit the code, for example, you'll see that there's these test cases and you could actually download them like so. But I mean, you have to spend some of their um, uh, hack goes currencies to do it, but Basically, a lot of these more complex challenges will have more than just two test cases. It will have like 10 to 15. I'm not exactly sure the exact count, but a lot of them will test edge cases so that you'll have to go back and fix your code later. Um, but that's it. Yeah, that was the first problem. It was super easy to solve. So yeah, there it is. It says, congrats, you have solved this challenge. Inherently, these will be like small problems. So I'm going to try to solve them more often every week. So I hope you guys can follow along and, uh, and, and join me on the next challenge. Bye.